Autoboxing and unboxing is really a fascinating process. What it can be distilled down to is a conversion. Either a conversion from a primitive to an object, or an object to a primitive. And that's what I want to show you in this video. So I've created the class Boxing 101, and what we're going to do is we're going to start with a primitive int, and I've called that primitive int, primitive int, and I've assigned it the value 42. And what I want to do with that 42 is I want to take an integer object and wrap it around the primitive, effectively converting it into an object. And that's what I've done on the next line. You see on the left, I have obj int, which is an integer object. And on the right, I have the primitive int that we created on the line above. And it's being passed to the integer constructor. When this line is complete, we're going to see that that integer class is going to wrap around the primitive. And so effectively, we have an integer object as opposed to a primitive. We've moved from int into integer. Now what if I wanted to do the reverse? You can see on this line, I have a primitive on the left, primitive int2, and an object on the right, obj int. And you can see I'm using the method int value. What int value is going to do is it's going to return the value of this integer as an int. So it's going to take that object and strip off the wrapper class around it and just leave the primitive value. And so this works perfectly. Now primitive int2 is assigned to 42. We have moved from an integer object into a primitive int. In the last slide, we got a good idea of converting between a primitive and an object. And so I want to continue on with that theme and start talking about autoboxing. In example one, we've done exactly what we did in the last slide. We took primitive int and we wrapped it with the integer class. And so the result looked like this, 42 inside of the integer class. Let's see if there's another way that we could accomplish this. In example two, I've taken primitive int two, assigned it to 42, but this time you can see integer object two, instead of using a constructor and the keyword new, I've just said primitive int two is now assigned to object int two. We really have two choices on how this can end. It's either going to end with 42 being wrapped by the integer class, or it's going to end in an error. Is obj int2, which is an object, going to accept primitive without telling it to convert? And the answer is choice one. It is going to wrap it. What's going to happen behind the scenes is the method value of is going to be called on primitive2, and that is going to convert it from primitive int into an object. The compiler is going to do this. And this process of converting between a primitive and an object is called autoboxing. So this is our example of autoboxing, moving from a primitive into an object. Let's look at example three. It's close to example two, except for now we're just doing it in one line. It almost looks wrong in the way that we're doing it. We're saying integer object three is assigned to the primitive 42. Object on the left, primitive on the right. Is it going to work? We have the two choices. Either it's going to be an error or it's going to wrap it. And what it's going to do is choice number one. It's going to auto box it. It's going to call the method value of on 42, which takes that 42 and converts it into an integer object. So again, here is another example of auto boxing. Autoboxing, the idea of moving from a primitive into an object. So as we've seen, autoboxing applies to the integer class, but it doesn't solely apply to the integer class. In this example, what I've shown is that it applies to all of Java's wrapper classes. All the way from byte to character, it is going to autobox every single one of those. And one thing that I'd like to point out about autoboxing at this point is that it's automatic. So we don't see any visible method or any way of conversion of taking that number and wrapping a wrapper around it or converting it into an object, but it is happening. And it happens behind the scenes automatically by the compiler.
So you can see in the thought bubble there what the compiler is doing behind the scenes. It's calling the method value of, and then 21 in the first case becomes a byte object. Now in Boxing 104, I wanted to show you another example of auto boxing. And to do that, I'm using an array list. So I've created an array list of integers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add four numbers to the array list using the method add. Now auto boxing might not be obvious here, but it is definitely happening. We see that 5, 10, 15, and 42 are all primitives, but the array list can only contain integers. It cannot contain primitive ints. So something must be happening along the way. And that something, of course, is auto boxing. What the compiler is doing for us is it's calling the value of method on all of those values boxing them into integer objects, and then storing them into an array list. And you can hopefully see the great value of auto boxing here. Could you imagine having to call all of those methods every single time you add a value to an array list? Auto boxing definitely creates shortcuts and saves time. So to summarize what we've seen about auto boxing thus far, is that there's really two ways of autoboxing. The first method is assignment. On the right we have the primitive, on the left we have the object. It's going to automatically wrap the primitive with the object, which is in this case an integer. And the second method is what we showed in the previous example with the array list. When there is a method that's being passed an int but is expecting an integer, it's going to take that primitive, wrap it as an integer, and then in this case, it's going to store it in the array list as an integer object, not as a primitive. So assignment and passed as a parameter of a method, those are the two ways of autoboxing. Thank you so much for watching the first part of autoboxing and unboxing. Do make it a point to catch the second part where we talk about unboxing and review autoboxing. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please do click like below. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please do subscribe to the channel. Truly, thanks again for watching.